everyone, we are going to work out today. I need to make some bread and some other things and then I need to come up with a delicious meal with my leftovers from yesterday. So you guys, let's get this day started and let's keep it keto. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. It is cold and rainy and yes, my hair is fluffy. I'm gonna put my little jacket on because it's getting chilly. I love these. I love the oversized flannel shirts for winter here. Yes, I do and they're perfect to wear over my exercise outfit to go to the gym. Hey, how's everybody doing? A lot of you guys told us what you're doing. Some of you are uh, hitting the ground running. You're going back to your regular uh, protocol, your ketogenic protocol, whether it be keto, ketovore, carnivore, BBBE or anywhere in between low carb. Um, and some of you are waiting till January 1st and that's fine too. As long as you are planning on what you're going to do, you don't eat mindlessly eat and you plan with that uh, and you can get right back on, that is absolutely wonderful. But you guys, I'm telling you it's interesting because I already, I showed these the other day and if you look, and my stomach already, I think, is less bloated. I don't know. It, I, it just could be me. I just think these, this little shirt fits me better. These shirts, by the way, they only come in small, medium, and large. So it's a large. And yes, I know I probably would do better in an extra large. However, I'm going down. Well, I don't know. It looks I'm fine. going down, down. And I plan on having a new exercise wardrobe because I am just gotten so, so much less in weight and I've gotten back down that I can buy a whole new outfit. That's what I'm planning on. Cause I'm telling you, if I have a goal and I hit my goal, then I get to buy some clothes or some shoes or both. Anyway, I'll have to talk to Harry about that. He's going, he's like, what? Yeah, nobody's talked to me what? about this. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I need to make bread today, uh, and we are going away in our Vita. We're, we're driving the first out to Quartzsite, and we're staying three nights and going to be there four days, and I'm so excited about that. Now, it's it has rain. been raining, and there it floods. They have this wash that goes through, and every year there is, so I'm taking shoes I can walk around in dirt or mud in. It won't be anything I'm taking, fog. It won't be cowboy boots. I'm That's taking sure. a mask and snorkel. I know where you go over that road's going to be closed on the one side uh -huh. like it always is. Yep. But anyway, we're going to have fun with that. I need to rest and relax and so does Harry, but I'm getting myself prepared, buying my ketogenic food, stocking our Vita, and we'll share every day with you guys what we see, what we do, what we eat, and all the good things. But this morning, we're going to go work out. We have a uh, exercise um, session with uh, Alejandra. Harry and I do. So I am gonna make my pre-workout. I've got my glasses here, and I'm gonna make blueberry lemonade right here from Real Light. It says to start with half of a scoop, and that's because of the niacin. That's because of the vitamin B in here, the niacinide. Yeah. That can cause Tell you to tingle to me. or get flushed. And Harry needs less because he is more sensitive to it. And the funny thing is, is if you're more sensitive to it, it's because you need it. So you yeah, flush. Yeah, right? Right. Whatever it is. Yes, it is. Man, my face so, is like on fire. So it says, start with half a scoop to access your tolerance and response, then gradually increase the serving. And if you're so, hairy, start with one quarter of a scoop. Yes, but you want to do this about 30 minutes before you go. So we are weighing in every day. Yes, you don't have to. Yes, you you don't have to do the scale because sometimes it can be a demon. Does that mean I don't have to too? Devil liar. But right now, no answer to show you. No, it doesn't mean you don't get to because ignorance for us is not bliss. So we are Speak going for yourself. to weigh in. I, I kind of like being ignorant about certain things. 
you're gonna weigh in, Harry. He doesn't want to get out of his jammies in the morning because it's cold. Yes, it's yeah. about it's about 42 degrees here in Arizona, and we're cold. You know, all well, of you folks out on, there in guys. minus minus teens, twenties, thirties. Get this. Get. But you got to think about this for a minute. Well, come here, talk. We you got. You've been holding Sally. I can tell. I know. She's I got shedding. hair all over me. Because. You know, it usually gets up to 120 here, man. Now take blood is very, very yeah. Thin. So when it gets down to like the 40s, that's 80 degrees difference. It is. For that's us. freaking cold, man. Yeah. And you've got new flannel jammies that you love. You got it. <laughs> and he's like, that's his new wardrobe. He got three pair, but he got just as many cute things. And you're wearing your new pair of shoes, so show those. Those are your Kizix. Come on. Show your shoes. How do I do that? Like this. I'll show you. You got Kizzix. Show them how they work. Well, they just, you know, slide on and off. Yeah. yeah. You can jump in them. Yeah. Turn sideways. Let's see. Yes. See, you got new shoes too. And where, where's your new big ones that we're going to wear tomorrow? Your little um, weatherproof shoes that I bought you. Your Columbia weather shoes. In, in the, the closet. closet. That's right. Where are your flannel shirts I bought you? Where's your Henley Longsleeve shirt I bought you? I bought you several. See? See? That's all I'm saying. He won't buy any more cowboy boots than the pair that he has. What for? See, well, it's because you got to match, matchy, matchy. No, I, brown fits with everything. It does. Okay. Anyway, you guys, weigh in. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Where's my phone? We got to put away all those Christmas cups. I got. We got to change out our glasses, our coffee mugs, because I got all the Christmas stuff out. I still what's, have to what's find. What's the next holiday? Valentine's Day. Oh, uh, I have a Valentine's right. Day heart. Yep, you do. I do. Okay, what we weigh? Well, I've got good news. Yes, I do, because I went down a pound. One ninety-one, still way up. Oh, Harry went down eight tenths of a pound. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yep. And we had delicious spaghetti for dinner. Yeah, it was really, really good. And I've got leftovers that I need to make something with today. So, here's what we're doing. I'll tell you what we had to eat yesterday that I had to eat. And the difference between Harry and mine is Harry had cauliflower and I had the shirataki noodles. Otherwise, we had about the same thing. You know, it's probably, you think it's, the cauliflower wouldn't put weight on you. No, it didn't. No, I mean, while well, you went down a pound and I went down eight tenths of a pound. I'm not sure. So, 1,321 calories. Harry had the differences in the cauliflower. Total of 17 carbs, difference in cauliflower. Protein, 136. Total fat, 78. We had a scoop of the Perfect Keto Salted Caramel and a scoop of the Perfect Keto Salted Caramel MCT Oil. We have two cups of coffee and we split this half scoop each. Then we had boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We had a 10 ounce one, those were huge chicken breasts. We have a little bit left in there. We had 80, 20 for dinner, 80, 20, six ounces of beef a piece. We had eight ounces of Rayo's homemade all natural premium marinara. I had skinny shirataki noodles. I had the entire package. And we had uh, per corneo romano cheese. We had about an ounce of that. So you guys, that's about what we had. And that's loose ballpark figure. And uh, we were totally full satiated it was oh, absolutely great. delicious so i didn't need nothing the rest of the night no you didn't so what we're gonna do is i have to think about what i want to do with our leftovers about midnight i always get hungry about midnight about midnight always i get a little hungry about midnight and normal people are in bed asleep by that time yes they are so mm. anyway you guys we are going to go to the gym we're going to go to our post box because we've got mail and we've got a package or more, it says. So we're going to go there. We have to go to Felicia's house and we have to uh, bring her mail in and if there's any packages there because they're in California right now. So we're going to go do that. So you guys, we may take Sally with us to go on a little ride to Felicia's house and back, but we'll see you guys in the next segment. Yes, indeed. You guys, we just got back. Yes, we went through Starbucks. Sally had some too. She loves, 
she loves Starbucks coffee. We put a little bit in the lid right here and she gets a little bit of that, but. Not much. We don't want to like run this around the house is like an idiot. a venti Americano with eight pumps, sugar-free vanilla and light heavy cream. And sometimes they put too much cream in, but that's what that is. Harry got one, I got one. Went and did everything. I am ready to eat. I'm starving. It is 1240 and we stopped eating last night at 530. Yeah. Between 5 and 530, our dinner. So what I have here is we went to Sprouts and got some Egg Life wraps. So I'm going to make breakfast burritos or breakfast tacos, I guess you would say. I've got sour cream, hot sauce, and I've got the taco. I've got the um, meat sauce. I put some on top of Harry's... Um, cauliflower and I put some in a little container so this is going right here into this little pan I'm gonna heat that up while the eggs are going right and then I have got um, this pan that I'm gonna make scrambled eggs in and I'm gonna put uh, scrambled eggs some meat some sour cream and hot sauce and have our little breakfast tacos. So that's what I'm gonna make. So let me put this down real quick. I wanna put a little bit of olive oil because I have my olive oil it has been open for a few months and you need to use olive oil. Once you open it, it can oxidize. So when you open it, you need to plan on using it for, for the next couple months. So I'm just putting a little bit in here instead of butter, just a little bit. You really don't even need that for the red, um, for the red copper pans, but I put a little bit in because we need a little bit of fat with our food. So I'm gonna heat that up. Then I'm gonna make a six egg, six eggs, and I'm gonna heat up this meat here. And we'll get this party started, you guys. Yes, indeed. So that's what we're gonna do. You guys come back when I get this started. I want this to warm up a little bit. Do you want four eggs or three? Four. They're kind of expensive now though. Well, it doesn't matter how expensive they are. Eggs are healthy and good for you and it, it's been budgeted, so. Eat them while we have them, that's what I say. Right. So, I put a little bit of water in my eggs. And then I beat them. Where's my whipper dipper? Probably in the bottom of the pans you just did. Water fluffs them better than cream or milk does. Put my eggs away. My hamburger's getting warm, or my uh, spaghetti sauce is getting warm. them a little bit to get the cold off of them. There's six wraps, so three each. That just heats it really nicely. How about we use our um, Italian cheese with the... Yeah, right. okay, sure. My avocados aren't ripe yet, or I would put one on mine, but I don't like hard avocado. So I've got one out ready, but it's still too hard. 
so it'll have to wait. Oh man, cherry wood's out. Oh, whew. scared me for a minute. Yes, I have cherry wood. Cherry wood, Redmond smoked salt. Your funnel? Yeah, I just washed it. Make sure it's not wet. This smells so good. I love having the smaller containers like this. You can put them on the table. You can put it in your purse like I have and uh, they're awesome. And you can refill them. That's what I use it for, refilling. Put a little bit on my eggs. I'll have to make I'll have to give some more to the other plate in just a second. Oh, this is going to be great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here, let me come over with the plate and get over here. Okay, there's that. I'm coming back. A little bit of sauce. Mmm. Smells delicious. It does. I'm like really hungry right now. I know it smells really good. I know, it's like, it? oh my gosh. Just a couple slices across. Doesn't take a lot of this. That's why I like this cheese. It doesn't take a lot. Piece of cheese in every bite. Put a little bit more salt on. And let me get another spoon. Get it. This is a teaspoon. I'm just going to put a little bit of sour cream. I always pour the whey off. This is Leftovers Delicious Breakfast Tacos. Yes, indeed. Doesn't that look delicious? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. Hey, everyone. Oh, we got mail. Yes, we do. So first of all, this is what I want to do. I want to read the names of everyone who sent me mail. All of the envelopes. I still am very emotional when I read them. So what I'm going to do is read and thank every single person for sending me something. And then I am going to open them off air, dry my tears, and then I'm going to share with everybody. I have two packages that came, so I'm going to open the packages first. Yes, indeed. And you guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the loving, caring, kindness, 
prayers, best wishes, condolences. We have felt those things and they have truly meant a lot to me. And I truly, truly appreciate it. So thank you so very much for those things. Anyway, let's get these little boxes open and see what's inside, shall we? This box is very, very light. It came from Karen, Karen Frankart. Thank you so much. Ohio, you, did you get socked in? I don't know how close you are to all of the I don't know how they got the Great mail Lakes out. and stuff, but man, telling you, it's crazy weather. I hope you're warm and cozy and safe. The thing, the, the good news is, I guess it's good news, the states like Michigan, Ohio, you know, um, New York, they're used to winter weather anyway. This was worse weather, absolutely 100%. But at least, it's like if you live in, when we lived in California, we were earthquake wet, ready. When we lived in Washington State, we had a generator because we knew we would lose power at some point in time during the winter because of the trees and the power lines and all those things. So hopefully you have been prepared and you weathered out that horrible storm, the cyclone blizzard that came across the country. So I'm just praying for everyone um, that was not so fortunate. But let's get this open, Karen, shall we? Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Mm. Robert Stanley Home Collection. Fragile Handle with Care. <laughs> I love it! Oh my gosh, you brought a smile to my face. I have never seen a bacon decoration. Oh, that's cool. For the tree. Look at that. That is awesome. I absolutely, you just made my heart sing. That is so <laughs> cute. That is Look original. That. that is And really that's my cool. favorite kind, thick slice. Yeah, right. Does it smell? Wouldn't no. That be funny? No bacon smell, but Karen, that's the icing on the cake. Oh my gosh, Pour it over all there. the topping on the Christmas tree. Hold it over here, away from your face. That is, look at that. And it even sparkles. Look at that. Isn't that cool? How neat is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Oh, you packed it perfectly. You packed it perfectly, Karen. You, you, I'm going to put these wrappings. I've got to send my sister in Columbia, Santa Marta, Columbia, some um, stuff from my mom. And I want to make sure it doesn't break. But, man, that is so cool. That is so That cool. is really cool. Merry Christmas. I mean, it looks like a real piece of bacon. Wendy, Harry, Sally, girl, and family. May your family be blessed with the love and peace that is Christmas. Karen, this... Karen and Diane, you got Dwayne, excuse me. Yeah, beautiful handwriting, Karen. And Dwayne, thank you so much. This will be on my Christmas tree. We will be celebrating. And it wasn't because I didn't want to bring everything out. It was because I just didn't have the time. But I absolutely, absolutely adore this Christmas tree decoration. Isn't that cool? It's pretty. Yeah, it's it, sparkles. Well, it's kind of neat, huh? I mean, you guys, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a sheen and a sparkle to it. Yeah. That this is, is going to bring a smile to my face every Christmas. Yep. Bacon's going to be front and center on my peacock tree. Yeah, that's go. right, right? Well, I, we've got Sally Girl decorations, and I'll share you guys the Sally Girl decoration I got this year. Hold on. So I've got this one to go on my peacock tree next year that was gifted. I yep. shared that with everybody already. And then I bought my Sally Girl decoration for this year. She didn't get to go on the tree yet. But look. Look at this. Color coordinated. Bacon and Sally Girl. And then my little peacock decoration. She got a guys. couple more, but they're, but they're already put away. Yes, they are. So we can't show the other ones the guys sent. Yes. These are the ones so, we still got to pack So thank you. Yes, I have to pack these away. These were late comers, but thank you. Thank you, Karen. Let me put these down. Don't want them to get hurt. 
That was wonderful. <laughs> that was that, cool. That, that just, that made my day. That, that, that bacon made my day. Yes, it did. Oh my goodness. This is heavy. It does not say who it's from. Uh, I don't know. What did it send you some lead? I don't want to cut into it because it feels like there's something on the outside. I mean, it's really heavy. It's amazingly heavy. It so is. For what you think, you know. Well, I have to be very careful because of packing. I don't want to cut accidentally cut into something. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Wendy, that's printings. 150 sets, bulk blank, thank you cards and envelope stickers, assortment of design, floor wall cartography. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, let me see who did this. Wendy and Harry, I love watching you guys on YouTube. Here are some cards for you to use. Have a very merry and blessed Christmas. Wendy, so sorry for the loss of your mom. Here is a hug from me. God bless you from Brandy. Match it. Oh my gosh. Isn't that? Wow. wow. That's funny, you know. We were just talk, we were talking about this. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You are so sweet because now I have thank you cards to write to everybody. Buddy who wrote me. I don't want to open this yet. Yeah, I do. You got to open one Well, up. okay, I'll open it up. It's a blank thank you card. You should be able to just... Uh... Yeah, you should. The problem is I got to clean my desk. <laughs> you guys, I have been piling up stuff. You gotta clean yours on my desk. We don't even have time to clean our desks. This is what's. Up. Oh, I love this. It's a pretty. It's I can reuse. I can zip it. I can re. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that's really cool. And I can write inside. Yeah. That's Thank you idea. so much. You are a sweetheart. This is wonderful. One last thing I have to worry about. Now I have thank you cards. I just keep piling up stuff and I just keep saying I'll take care of it tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's come and I need to go through, clean off my desk. Carrie and I need to have a clean out the desk today. I've been throwing receipts. I haven't been scanning them to my, um, what's the scan thing that I do? Yes, yeah, what's the a scanner? Coup coupon thing. Yeah. You guys, so nice. Thank well, that you, is Brandy. Great idea. Now, Brandy. How can I send you a thank you? I don't have your address. So email That's me <laughs> at lovingitonketo at okay. gmail.com. I can send That's her a ironic. postcard. No, I'll send her a postcard. That's I'll ironic, send Brandy right? a postcard. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I'm going to do this. But first of all, uh, there's one that I, I, I felt it because I was hoping that it would be what I thought it was. This is from Eileen Vogel. And I felt it, and I'm going, I wonder if my little calendar for my refrigerator's on here. I hope Eileen does little calendars this year because I love my little calendar. So I open it up already because it's my calendar. Fabulous. And I'm very excited. We live off that calendar. Yes, we, uh, Eileen, I see her little smiling face every day. And I'm going to take this off here. Hold it up. And then... Look, I love it. It's a refrigerator magnet. Yep. And this is the best calendar ever. Ever. Right there. Now we use that thing for everything, man. I love this yeah. calendar. It doesn't get in my way. It's right there. And I get to see Eileen's smiling face. And Eileen is going to be going to Austin yep. April 21st through 23rd. Hey, you guys, you better get your tickets now. They went up. They're going to go up again. So if you use our discount code at the bottom at the link, and then when you check out, type in the Loving It on Keto discount code, you will get $50 off the price of the ticket. If you get it now before January 1st, before it goes up again, you will still get an additional savings, you guys, but every month it's gonna go up. And the nice thing is, if you guys go through our link and you buy the ticket, it's, it's 
for three days. You get three days. It's one of the largest events out there. Plus, they, all the vendors that come with any kind of food products, they read through the ingredients list to approve them prior to letting them on site because they don't want any ingredients that they don't feel are appropriate or are bad for you or are unhealthy or any of those things. I don't know what their exact criteria was, but they're picky. So the vendors that are there are going to be wonderful too and everybody will get to meet everybody and everything. And if enough people come through our link, we may even get a free meet and greet area so we can meet everybody and everybody can meet everybody because you've been reading the comments you've been put it posting comments and we all are one big loving it on keto family so i cannot wait to meet eileen in person and give her a big old hug yes indeed so you guys and everybody else absolutely everybody so you guys let me know do you guys have tickets to go to Austin. If not, are you gonna get them? Because I wanna know how many people are gonna be there that I know virtually through the commentary and everything so that we are gonna be on the lookout for you. Yes, indeed. Anyway, this is what I wanna do. I'm gonna read the envelope front, then I'm gonna go through and um, do the cards, and then I'm gonna share the cards with everybody because like I said, even talking about it, I start getting emotional and I don't want to be emotional on my channel. Um, other than from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single one of you and every single card and every single thought that you have put into sending me a card. So Eileen, thank you Kristen Bailey. Thank you Robin Dunnigan. Thank you. Colleen Savini, and if I if I don't pronounce your name right, I apologize. Kristen Bailey, another one. This is Renee McHale. This is from Risa Goldberg Golding, Oxford, oh. New Jersey. S. Taylor. A segment. Cindy Manka, thank you, Cindy. Sorry we don't get to meet you at Quartzsite this year, but we'll have to meet you again next year. Ron and Karen Bellonaho, Bellonoa, Bellonoa. Ron and Karen, thank you. Sorry if I messed your name. Judy Rowland. And this one was open. Yeah. Uh, when we got it uh, today, and it is from Reverend Kalima Jacobs. Thank you so very much from the bottom of our heart. And I'm going to open these up, and I'm going to share the beautiful cards and read them. So you guys, again, thank you so much for sending us a card, a postcard, your prayers, your kind words, sending energy our way, all of those wonderful things. And thank you for the beautiful gift and my bacon ornament. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, I am making my a keto egg white protein buttermilk bread version 2.0. Sorry, it's dirty. You use it a lot. I use it a lot. I will post this down. I will pin it to the top of the comments below. Yes, I will. But basically, yeah, I separate the products that have fat in them from the products that do not so that my egg white protein powder whips to stiff peaks. In this bowl, I have two teaspoons of nutritional yeast. Is that what you wanted? I, wanted you to, I was down at the bowl, so you should oh, have brought it down sorry. to the bowl. I'm sorry. Okay. Right in this bowl. Two teaspoons of nutritional yeast. You can leave that out if you don't like nutritional yeast. You can add a whole tablespoon if you like it. It's up to you. I have put in six grams or one tablespoon of premium butter powder from Anthony's. I have put in six grams egg yolk powder or approximately one tablespoon. I have put in buttermilk powder 
one tablespoon or it weighs out at nine grams a tablespoon does so it's a little bit heavier these all have fats in them I'm not sure about nutritional yeast but this nutritional yeast that's in here is not Bragg's it's just uh, the bulk from sprouts now in my pan I have one and one half uh, cups of room temperature water to that I am going to add you don't even want to use the spoon that you used in your fats because fats will keep your egg whites from turning into stiff peaks. So I'm going to put in a tablespoon of beef gelatin and I'm just going to sprinkle that across the water just to let it get going. Harry's mad at me again. He's growling at me because I'm too fast. I'm just too fast. Yep. Pick it up. Way too fast. Pick it up, Harry. Okay, come over here, Harry, quick. I got a teaspoon of Redmond salt, sprinkling that into the water. I have got a teaspoon cream of tartar. Want to look at the front, Harry? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I think they all know what cream of tartar is. Well, some people are new to cooking. I am gonna put in a one tablespoon allulose. Now, when we first started making our uh, egg white protein bread, we were using a quarter of a cup. I found that one tablespoon is all I need to get a nice, delicious brown coat for the crust and give it that texture that I need. And it's cheaper using a tablespoon rather than a quarter of a cup. Let me get the scale because I'm gonna need it. And I need to have one hundred twenty grams of egg white protein powder. Why is the light always when I where I want to show? I don't know. I'm not the cameraman. There's this guy I know is the cameraman. He's supposed to set it all up. Yeah, well, he's a jerk. No, he's not. Just a cute guy. There we go. There you have it. Now we're just going to put this on low for a little bit and just let it blend some of the... Because of the powder. Come on, back here. Because of the cloud. Beat it to stiff peak. Then we'll be back. When he's putting in her fat now. I'm putting in the ingredients that have the fat. See how it balls up? I turn it on high for 10 seconds and it'll knock some of that off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is her favorite part. The banging. Getting it all over her hands. Your ears. There's no way to hold it good. Yeah, it's all slippery. Ooh, look at that color. I wish you guys could see the sheen. It looks really good. If I shot this in 4K, you probably could see it. And now you want to come here and you want to scrape the sides of your bowl. Get any of the powder that didn't get in and you want to go down deep and just fold it in. Look how pretty that is. Now the color is kind of a cream color, right? Buttery. Essence to me. It's and kind of a... so you can see if it's pure white from the bottom 
You want to fold that in a little bit, otherwise you're going to get a streak of white, which is kind of a styrofoam. It's just the pure egg white protein powder. And uh, just get that all ready to go. I am reusing some parchment paper that I've cooked in in the past. Yes, you can reuse it. Just knock off the crumbs, kind of brush it off. Lately, this stuff has just been fluffing so nice. It's the weather. It's the weather is right. Sometimes in the summertime, you know, you can have too much humidity, not enough humidity. When you're using the egg white protein powder, it's less persnickety than it is when you are cooking with just egg, raw egg whites. It tends to be more persnickety. But look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -mm -mm. You want to make sure you pat it down because if you don't, it will break and, and break layer it. You'll get a folded piece of bread to the side and it looks wonky. That's because you want to push it down a little bit into itself when you're doing this so that you don't have any like air pockets or anything. Mmm, wow, this really whipped well. The um, buttermilk really fluffs and so does the uh, gelatin. Gives it nice stiff peaks. I like giving it a flat top. I like giving it a flat top haircut and I like like a plateau. Here in the southwest we have flat topped mountains that are called plateaus. That tends to keep it from falling over or part of it falling to the side so you don't get a wonky. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to, but chances of it are less if you do it that way. So there you go, there you have it. This goes in the oven. 325 preheated oven for 40 minutes. You guys, I'm gonna clean this up and we'll be back when it's bread. You guys, besides the beautiful cards, Renee, who gave us our wonderful salt and pepper shakers that we use all the time, gave me a wonderful card, but she also gave me a $100 um, money order. And Renee, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Such a generous gift, and I truly appreciate it. I'll buy some food for our Vita that we can use. Absolutely, thank you for the flowers, thank you for the cards, thank you for the thank you cards. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart for your Christmas cards and for your well wishes and for the beautiful sympathy cards, you guys. I'm going to keep these forever. You guys, thank you so much. Clear because my bread is done now that I noticed something with my buttermilk bread it does relax a little bit once it's out but that's okay because it's absolutely delicious yes it is look at that you guys now let's get that's why I like the parchment paper Ooh, see this team rising from that? Yeah. Quick! Ooh. And you guys, I have a beautiful loaf. Can you pick it up? Yes. Very quickly. I've got a beautiful, mm, it smells so good, buttermilk bread version 2.0. It's delicious. It's low carb. It's high protein. 
It is low in fat and it's absolutely delicious. And, and very hot. And very hot. Yeah. <laughs> gonna let that rest. And there's my bread. You guys, we're gonna go ahead and close this out because my grandson, Mason, we are, it's his birthday and we are going to go to medieval times to celebrate and hopefully we can film some and we'll insert it at the end or tomorrow. after we say goodnight or it'll be tomorrow. So it depends on how far Harry gets because he's got to get this uploaded and halfway finished before we go tonight. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, or ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up and thank you God for blessing us with friends like you. Good night, everyone. Sally, come here. Oh, because we have the box in the way. There you are. Can you say good night? <laughs> that was a good night. That's say good night. That's it, huh? Come on, that's it. Say good night. Good girl. Good girl. You are a smart cookie. You know what? You taught yourself all about saying good night, didn't you? Yeah, Getting a carnivore crisp. Give her up her whole way. Night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>